The Emetica facet fixation system can be used to stabilize a spinal motion segment that is at risk for becoming unstable from laminectomy. This surgical technique describes using the facet fixation system via an open technique at the L4-L5 facet joint. With the patient under general anesthesia and in a lordotic prone position on a C-arm compatible table, mark the midline over the L4 spinous process using fluoroscopy as an aid. Perform a standard posterior decompression removing the lamina being careful to preserve at least 50% of the inferior articular process on either side. Preservation of the majority of this structure is important to maintain the integrity of the facet joint for placement of facet bolts. Assemble the cassette onto the distal end of the barrel by threading the outer locking tube counterclockwise until the slots on the end of the barrel are exposed. Then insert the cassette onto the barrel by aligning the arrows on the metal bridge to the slots on the barrel by pushing forward until fully seated. Turn the cassette counterclockwise until it stops and thread the outer locking tube clockwise until it is tightly seated against the end of the metal bridge. Next, with the roll controller in vertical position, grasp the handpiece and compress until the barrel has captured the proximal washer. Open the door of the cassette and release the trigger by pulling the release lever located just behind the trigger. The plastic cassette can be removed from the side and discarded. Insert the facet gun into position over the L4-L5 facet joint. Once over the joint, pull back slightly in order to secure the distal locking washer into the surface of the superior facet. This step will ensure proper grip of the implant into the bone. If necessary, the roll controller at the top of the handpiece can be used to manipulate the washer angle for proper seating on the facet surface. Squeeze the trigger of the handpiece to compress the joint and lock the washers onto the facet joint surfaces. Be sure to position across the thickest portion of bone. With the handpiece clamped into position on the facet joint, determine the proper facet screw length by reading the color-coded indicator located at the top of the handpiece assembly. Each color denotes a different length of facet screw. Insert the drill into the back of the handpiece and drill forward slowly until the hard stop is reached. Select the appropriate screw length by matching the color or length indicated on the outer package with the color or measurement taken from the handpiece in the previous step. Load the screw by inserting the hex head into the hex end of the driver and thread the retaining knob clockwise until finger tight. The screw is advanced by turning the driver clockwise until the hard stop is reached. Progress can be viewed through the window at the top of the gun behind the roll controller. When the yellow stripe from the driver is visible in the window, the driver is nearing the hard stop. Continue to advance until the facet screw has fully driven through the locking washer and you are unable to drive any further. Disengage the screw from the driver shaft by rotating the screw retainer knob counterclockwise until it spins freely. Release the clamp by depressing the clamp release button and simultaneously pull backward on the roll controller at the top of the handpiece to disengage the proximal washer from the end of the barrel. Finally, apply force perpendicular to the length of the barrel to disengage the distal locking washer. The gun can now be removed from the operative site. Confirm the implant position and fixation via fluoroscopy. Repeat these steps for the contralateral L4-L5 facet joint. These steps can also be repeated for other levels as deemed necessary.